welcome back, guys. So it took you almost 20 years to get out here, and now you're back after a year. Yeah. So can we yeah. expect a yearly visit now? Hopefully. Well, probably. <laughs> uh, probably not. No, no not, not a yearly <laughs> visit. Well, I was just thinking now we're going to write a new album after we're done with these shows, yeah. and so we, you know, we won't probably see any touring in, in a year or so. Last time we, we had a blast, and we had a lot of people coming out to the show, so. We're just stoked to be here again. So what are you kind of thinking? Like I was reading that you guys were thinking of jamming more together this time. We're not really 100% sure how. Yeah. Like the whole jamming yeah. thing yeah. is something Putting like that back into it. Yeah. In an earlier stage, you know, you got to write stuff first. It's not like we're going to stand around looking at each other in the eye and just, all right. <laughs> do you, hey, have, do you, do you have, have an idea? idea? Yeah. Come on, <laughs> at all? Come on. Do you have Come on, some, any? You got something going? <laughs> but we're going to do it like, you know, like earlier in the process. Yeah. When you maybe just have like a, a vague idea where the song is going instead of working that and finishing it on your own you might put it into like the band situation yeah. is it true you kind of yeah. grew up together yeah. yeah me and martin grew up together uh from when actually from when we were like five six years old wow and we started playing music together when we were 12 and uh, pretty similar with with jens the vocalist and frederick the lead guitar player they yes. grew up together since they were kids and they kind of went through the same thing that they played in their first bands together and they kind of always have been together in the same bands, yep. be it like their first band I think was punk and, yep. and then going through like before they kind of found this and then we just, we came from another town, like yep. a close by town and we just kind of fused. Have you ever seriously sort of butted heads on an idea or a concept? We have a know, pretty really. healthy, we have a, we're from Sweden, yeah. we're, we have a pretty, pretty healthy <laughs> democracy going, you know? Yeah. If we sit down and we have issues, like someone might like not like this part there or whatever, we tend to work it out in a pretty civilized manner, but yeah. we, we disagree, yeah. for sure. Of I mean, course. every, you know. Your sort of proudest works, I mean, you've got quite a diverse back catalog. That's so hard to say. Yeah, I'm, I mean. Next I'm, album. I'm, yeah. Yeah, next exactly. album. Yeah, We always want to do something different, want to like go somewhere. With, yeah. With and do something we, better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. do something better. We always want to better ourselves. You have a tendency to kind of like the newer stuff more, because yeah. that's where you Freshman are as a mind. person. Yeah right now you know if, if we listen back to, to if we listen to the first album like contradictions collapse from 91 yeah it's funny you know listening to it because you can hear we're young hungry kids you yeah. know they want to put like 200 different riffs into one song you just want to show everything off you know kind of and and uh, and it's fun in that sense and we're so proud of it but it's yeah. not who you are today so yeah. you can't really you don't appreciate that's the music true. the way you did at the time, you yeah. know. What was it like making the DVD? I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a, that's another thing. It's a long time coming. Ian McFarland of Killswitch yeah. TV, who, who did the whole thing, he had yeah. different teams in the three cities where we recorded, and um, we didn't really notice them at all. And it's not a live DVD in that the way that it's like almost sort of riding with us for three, four shows. Yeah. In a way. So it's a know. bit deeper. Yeah, but, a but, but not including any of the rock mythology typical yeah. you know drunken yeah. it's not so whatever. much metal that, that part uh, people usual. have seen you don't you don't have to show that again you know people yeah. know about that we are out playing shows here's what that's like can i ask why future breed machine is not on the dvd because it sucks okay it sucks you made it <laughs> no it's one of those songs that we've played so much we've gotten so tired of playing it <laughs> that we actually play it worse and worse every year you just thought that all right, we could include this and people would probably think it's fine, but it's not up to standard either. It's like, we always played as the last, or on that tour, yeah, we always played it as the last you're super show. Tired so we're super every tired, night everyone was play. sick, good, so we just cut it out. And just when we approached that idea, it was kind of relieving, you know, yeah. to you know that people are going to be pissed off about this, but fuck it, we're not one song. Because that's the one track that we've played every single show from the day it was written, you know, yeah. or at least the day it was recorded, so. Why it's cool though. The whole yeah. idea of the song is just tiresome by now. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, hey. I never really have to play this song. Can we just like walk off stage now yeah. and not play it? It's like you when know. you hear that breath controller thing going through, through, through. You think, I'm gonna fucking pick that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Should we do that again? <laughs> is that that guitar player over on the other oh, side? Oh my god, that bitch. What writers have kind of had an impact on you? It's just a, a big mishmash of whatever, yeah. you know, I've stuff. Been reading and. You know, I can't. I couldn't really put a finger on that. It's just, I, I think to to a big extent, I, I, personally at least, I don't even know what the other guys think, but personally, it just kind of fits the music to have a, 
the lyrics not be your typical metal lyrics because yeah, our music is kind music. of not no. not really no. that either so I I feel that it, it has it needs a certain touch you know it mm. needs a certain like way of expressing things even in the lyrics and you know we I'm not the only lyric writer Mark yeah, ri course. writes yeah. lyrics too for the band and that's a, I think speaking for both of us that's kind of we do put like effort into it it's not bullshit that you know yeah. we just need something in there to to have vocals in the track it's definitely something that we do spend a lot of time on and in the studio like as far as vocals and lyrics and changing lyrics to fit the rhythmic aspects of the music and everything that's probably what we spend the most time of on out of everything that we record you know you so come to stuff? think of it actually we play we're pretty fucked up because we play uh, you have an expression of music that's yes. very direct very aggressive very brutal mm. Mm. yeah but the music we play and the lyrics we write are very elusive so we're expressing elusive ideas via like like our tool of doing that is yeah. a, a music form that is very direct and very yeah, and, and well so known it's, a paradox it's got that it's, metal it's sound it's almost like a subconscious yeah. violence yeah. it's almost kind of it yeah. gets right in yeah. your head but yeah. you don't really know how it's gone there it's it like a punch in, in the face yeah, it's yeah, like it sneaks in you know, and it has to kind of it's like a shapeshifter yeah it's kind of a sinister vibe would you make a film like would you get the son of finder david lynch to kind of do an, like a score to we create a film considered we should we should like that we should have sex with david lynch if yeah. he ever comes by. I think you should. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Maybe make I'm a film that, and then yeah. do the score. Yeah. yeah. I mean, make no love and film. That. No. David Lynch porno. No yeah. one's yeah. done it. No, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it'll be about first, time. That would be fucking interesting. How does a Michelle record come come together? People write separately, then we kind of bring it together, and when we come to that point, we we show each other the stuff that 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 we've been doing so far. You know, you're also inspired by that. To, to boil it down, we. Yeah make demos and present to each other yes. more than listening to to outside sources and influences we kind of feed off of the ideas that, that we have inside mm -hmm. the band on, on those like different types of like how you work out what's going to be good for a certain album yeah that's something that like presents itself when you start working on it of course catch did that did it that way we like sat down and realized in order to complete this project and work on a, the entire track and, and to like not have everybody go crazy about what's coming where and how yeah. we put all our demos together instantly so that's quite an know, interesting it's work yeah to work a piece not yeah. towards yourself you guys have done some, so a lot of experimenting um throughout your career where have you not gone that you'd like to yeah, does she mean sexually yeah or? i mean sexually no oh. Well then, the I, I, in that game case, so much DVD. easier. In that case, yeah. I've covered everything. If you're yeah. talking yeah. musically, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sexually, I'm, there's nothing. There's nah, nothing else left over. to do. It's all over. So right? Except Some David Lynch. Ago. Yeah, you yeah, had that crush on that frog for a while. David Lynch, you fucked up weird. my perfect record. Good luck with the record. Thank um, you. We hope we're looking forward to seeing it next year. In 2011, yeah. we can we're almost guarantee. Almost guarantee. Let Let's Let's almost guarantee. Like. Let's do 90% guarantee that we'll be here in 2011. Yes, go yeah. on. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm actually even writing it into a lyric that we're going to use in the next album, yeah. promising Australia to be it's, here it's in 2011. <laughs> Yo!